In this section, we'll be going over the snapping toolbar and we'll be going over the different snap modes within the toolbar. One way to get to the snapping toolbar is to come up to the workflow pull down, come down to drawing. Under the drawing aids, here you have a section for your snap tools. To get to your AccuSnap settings, there's this little arrow right here. If you just click on it, it will open the settings dialog box here under general. Probably you won't have to mess with any of these, but if you want to enable or disable your AccuSnap, you can do it here. There are some other options under here you can take a look at if you want to. Under elements, if you wanted to turn snapping on and off for certain elements, you could do that here. And under feel, there's just some settings for the sensitivity and kind of the snap tolerance. Probably won't have to mess with any of these, but this is where you would get to the settings. I'm going to close that. You could select your snapping from here if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on the snapping toolbar. It's in this last row, the second icon down. Just left click on it, opens your snap modes. I'm going to go ahead and dock my snap mode toolbar. I'm just going to left click on this title block here. You can see you can move it around. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of my screen and dock it down here. Of course, if you want to turn your accu snapping on or off, it's this first icon here. It's the X. If you left click on it, you can turn it off. Left click on it again, turns it on. It'll be highlighted blue if it's turned on. And you should be ready to start snapping. One other way to get to your snapping tools is down here on this bottom bar right here. If you left click on that, it should also bring up your snap tools. During the next set of videos, though, we'll just be using the snap toolbar I opened up down here at the bottom. Just remember when using snaps, the snap tool cannot be used by itself. It has to be used in conjunction with another tool, maybe like your place element tools, your move tools, or your modify tools.